Hello everyone, you are with me Rumi Yasmin and welcome back to this topic that I am going to discuss that is too much important and interesting as well, okay? Because today I am going to discuss about the classification of river. Mainly we will be discussing the superimposed and the obsequent, subsequent, resequent and the antecedent to the superimposed river in more details by the help of a diagram. Because that are too much confusing, isn't it? But don't worry about that, I am here to remove your doubt. So let's get started by understanding what is river. So a river is a natural flowing water courses, usually fresh water, falling towards an ocean, sea, land or another river. Okay? So that is the general definition of the river. Okay? Now move on to the classification of river. The river can classify on various grounds. For example, it can classify the river on the basis of the relation to the geological structure. So what is the geological structure? Suppose that is the slope, the regional slope and over that the river will flow. Some river follow the regional structure but some river do not follow. So on the basis of that the river can classify into two broad categories that is the sequent river and the insequent river. So what is sequent river? So the river which follows the regional slope, the geological structure are known as the sequent river. And the river which do not follow the regional structure or the geological structure, this river is known as the insequent river. In, and the sequent river also classified into four groups. That is the consequent, subsequent, obsequent, resequent or reconsequent streams. So first understand what is the consequent stream. Uh, so the consequent streams is the first streams to be originated in a region, okay? So suppose that is my region, okay? And the river, that is the 3D picture of the region, and the river will initiate it first of all. This river is known as the consequent streams, and this river will follow the regional slope or the geological structure. As this river always follow the deep direction, that is why this river is also known as the deep stream. And the Ganga is the best example of the consequent stream. Now have a look. The second that I have for you, that is the subsequent river. Okay? So subsequent river are those river which originated just after the consequent stream. So that is the first river to be initiated in a newly emerged surface and the second stage it will create. This means the subsequent river will create. Okay? And the subsequent river always joins the master consequent or the consequent river almost at right angle. So this is my consequent river and the subsequent river will originate after the consequent river and it will join the master consequent almost at right angle. So that is the consequent river, this river and that, that are the subsequent river which will join the master consequent at much later date almost in 90 degree. Okay? These streams, these subsequent streams will follow the stripe of the bed. That is why it is known as the stripe river and the consequent river that is known as the deep stream. And this is known as the stripe. Strike stream. Okay? Is that clear? Now, move on. The third, that is the obsequent river. So, what is the obsequent river? It's just the opposite of the consequent river. Suppose the consequent streams will follow in this direction. The consequent stream means the first one that I already have discussed. And the obsequent streams will follow just the opposite direction of the consequent streams. Okay. So that is the main difference of the consequent and the obsequent streams. And the best example of obsequent streams is the river quotient. Now move on to the last that is the resequent or the reconsequent stream. If you carefully observe the word you will be able to find out the definition. So the word is reconsequent. Consequent means the first one but here the prefix is re. So what does it mean? The resequent and the reconsequent are just the same like the consequent river. So you must ask me then what is the difference between the consequent and the resequent. So consequent streams are the streams which originated first of all the river. 
work. Okay. But the resequence streams will originate after so many years, after later date in relation to the consequence. So this is the first river to be originated and this is the last river. Okay. And this resequence or the reconsequence streams are found mainly in the initiation of the second cycle of erosion in a folded region. Okay. So that is I have covered this portion the sequence river. Now move on the insequent river. So what is the insequent river? Insequent river or those river which do not follow the regional slope, the geological structure. They do not follow. Okay. So this insequent river also classifies into two group. That is the antecedent stream and the superimposed stream. So what is the antecedent stream? The first one. Okay. Antecedent streams are those streams which to continue their previous courses in any situation. So I will describe this antecedent streams origin and development by some step. That is the first step. So this is the regional slope and the river has fully developed its own course. The river is following west to east direction. Okay. And, and this is the second step. After the origination of this river, okay, there will be a afflicted land because of some reasons, okay, okay. So when this river, as this river is uplifting in a slow rate, so this uplifted land rejuvenates this river, and as a result, this river will try to cut this area and will continue its following in the same direction, the previous direction like the previous. So, this river will cut this uplifted land by the down cutting. Okay? So, this is the antecedent river which will follow the same direction like the previous in any situation. But, actually this process largely depends on the rate of the upliftment if the rate of the upliftment is equal to the down cutting process, then only this river can continue its previous follow. Okay? And this is known as the antecedent river. Suppose if the rate of the upliftment is too high within a short period of time and the um, process of the down cutting is not so extensive, it's so slow, slow in rate, then what will be happen? The river cannot cut this hill, okay? And the river will follow in another direction, okay? And this river is known as the defeated river, okay? And the river which will cut these hills or the afflicted area and it will continue its previous flow, this river is known as the antecedent river, okay? Okay, is that clear? Now move on to superimposed river. So, the origination and the development of the superimposed river can be explained with the uh, help of a diagram. Okay, so I am drawing this picture, just watch it. So, this is the diagram by which I will explain the superimposed streams. Okay, so these streams mainly found in those regions that are so complex. Geological structure is too much complex. So, in this region, you can see the geological structure is most complex. The upper portion, upper two beds are almost horizontal, but the other, this is the intrusive igneous rock and uh, convex in shape, okay? So, that was the much variation in the shape of the beds, okay? In that particular region, in that particular geological structure, complex uh, geological structure, um, we can see the superimposed streams. So, in that sense, what will happen? The river will follow in this direction and the river will try to cut this bed, this upper bed, okay, by its uh, down cutting process and this upper bed will remove by the emotional activities, okay, and what will happen? The river will try to cut this second bed too. And after that, this second bed will remove. And after that, when this river will follow this direction, so this is the river which do not follow this direction. It will follow its previous direction like 
when it was uh, over the horizontal bed, the direction was totally different from this direction. So this uh, river will follow its previous direction. This river will not follow uh, this direction because this is the convex shape. But this river do not follow this uh, geological structure. That is why it's known as the superimposed streams. Okay. So now have a look the river capture. The process of the river capture that is too much related to the these uh, types of river. Okay. So I have a river that is following in this direction. Okay. I also have another river that is following in this direction. So there can be a condition by which the river will try to meet this main river. Okay. And after that, after some times, what will be happen? This river might go in this way. Okay. And after that, there kind of, there will be kind of break in this portion, and this river will totally separate it from this river. Okay. And this river is known as the Catal River, and the river that is left behind, this is known as the Misfit River. So that is also to kind of the river. Remember that. Okay. Now move on to the classification of river. So the river was classified in two broad categories that is the perennial river and the non perennial river on the basis of the water flow in the river. Okay. Now what is the perennial river? Perennial river are those rivers which flow throughout the year. Okay. And the Ganga is the best example of perennial river. Okay. And what is the non perennial river? Non perennial river. Non perennial river are temporary river. Okay. And this river can find only the rainy time or rainy season because this river do not follow throughout the year. This is temporary in nature. And Krishna, Tapti and the Godavari is the best example of non perennial river. Okay. Now, have a look at the general classification of river. Generally, the, class, uh, the river are classified into three broad categories. That is the main river and the tributary and the distributary. So, suppose this is my river that is following in this direction, okay? There can be some river or the streams which are adding their water into the main river. So this river that are um, adding the water, this is known as the tributaries, okay? So that are the tributaries. But there can be some river that, uh, that will take the water from the main river. So this is the main river, okay? And the river which takes the water from the main river and follows in another direction. This is known as the distributary. They are distributing the, uh, the water from the main river. So the tributary are adding water in the main river and the distributary is distributing the water from the main river. They are taking the water from the main river. So this is the general classification of the river. Hope you have learned something new. Okay. So this brings me to the end of the session today. So stay with me. Sign off for the day.